Hello, greetings, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shalee Benessi. Um, so in today's video, I wanted to talk about the last quarter of a moon phase and the moon phases. So as you can see behind me, I have a tapestry of the moon phases <laughs> and obviously an individual because I really believe that the moon does affect the individual. So. I thought it was fitting for this video to film said background. Anyways, I just let's get right into it then. Um, so I'm making this video update based on the fact that myself, I am was born on the last quarter of the moon phase, and I guess I wanted to share with you what that means um, in general and what that means for me and how it's associated to the work that I do and everything else surrounding that. So let's just get right into it then. Okay, so from my research and what I have come to understand about the last quarter of the moon phase, um, it is like the perfect balance between light and dark, but it typically comes from uh, the light going into the darkness. So it's like, all about like facing the dark night of the soul and it's like associated with people um, who tend to be and deal with um, a lot of darkness in their lives and it's uh, going into the shadows you know so um, and it's like people who are born on the last quarter of the moon phase really have a understanding and a grasp on the dark night of the soul but it's also associated with release, letting go. So I can speak for myself um, and reflecting and on my experiences in my reality and my life as an individual being soul. Um, and then just like, you know, doing the work surrounding what this uh, truth is and this symbolizes for myself. So, and it being Monday and today is the last quarter of the moon phase. I thought why not update and share this information with you guys perfect themed video for the day uh, Yeah, so and it's heading into towards a new moon, which is like new beginnings um, Yeah and um, so today is Monday and it's the first day of the week and it's the seventh seven is a number of balance so it's like a great day to really be mindful um, of the duality in our lives um, and that's what typically from my understandings what the last quarter moon phase symbolizes is like that perfect balance between the light and the dark um, and I guess it could be reversed too depending on your understandings and your systems that you govern within whatever work that you do. Uh, so, um, yeah. Um, so typically people who are born on this um, energy um, of the moon phases tend to be leaning towards being an older soul but they're not quite yet like a young soul. They're kind of like in between. And if we're going to step into how it is connected to astrology, um, um, being somebody who is ruled by the moon <laughs> and the season of the years that I was born under is when the sun is brightest and highest in the sky. So I tend to lean towards the light more um, and anyone else such as like Gemini, Cancer, Leo, were kind of like the beacons of light in the world and the energies and associations that correspond to the work that we have to do in this lifetime is sort of makes sense with the phase of the moon that I was born under anyways. So yeah. Um, and I thought, you know, since this is an occult related channel, and everyone knows I'm very like artistic and I'm alternative so I thought why not you know commemorate and compliment said 
video topic of today, <laughs> subject of today. Um, and yeah, my tapestry is obviously um, phases of the moon and how it corresponds to the individual. So death and rebirth cycles are very prominent with this type of energy of the moon phase. So yeah, and I got my wig to match and my awesome double trouble shirt. We are in the material matrix, so why not celebrate it when we can in hard times? <laughs> Since the whole collective is going through like a dark night of the soul, I thought I would, you know, might as well help um, <laughs> in the ways that I know how. <laughs> so yeah, um, and as far as uh, my other understandings around the last quarter of the moon phase and people who I've known of and looked into that are associated with this energy, it makes sense. We all kind of have like a similar depth um, and direction and understanding around who we are, why we are the way we are, and the work that we do, whether people want to acknowledge that or not, or whether they're conscious of it or not, or want to be. So, and for me, I take an interest in this stuff. So I thought, why not create content and share video based on something that's associated with myself, personal truth about myself and connected to my interests, which is the occult. So yeah. Um, so yeah, if, if you were born on the last quarter of the moon phase, were you born on the last quarter of the moon phase? I was. So if you were, feel free to comment something in the video below. Um, yeah, and I guess we'll just wrap that up and thank you for tuning into this video Hit the subscribe and share button and I have new videos out for the rest of the month every day two times a day Just closing off the rest of the year. So once again, I thank you For tuning into this video much love and respects to all of you and Have a great week Thank you, love you, God bless.